Some of you might recognize the name of the next author that I'm going to be reviewing. Uh, it's uh, Vola Soyanka. Uh, this is one of the volumes of his memoirs, of which there are several. Um, this is Ake, The Years of Childhood. Um, Ola Soyenka was the first African uh, writer to ever be awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature. Uh, he grew up in Nigeria in the 50s when both his native country and much of the rest of Africa was still roiling under imperial European rule. To no one's surprise, this results in a memoir that very much reads as if the writer is being torn between two priorities, two sets of values, or two worlds. Soyanka's Ake, The Years of Childhood, which cover his earliest memories up through approximately age 11, is no different. He grew up in a world of ancestral, religious, social, and cultural practices that mostly coincided easily with, but occasionally, butted heads with the imperial English culture with which it had to share its living space. This volume of Soyinka's memoirs, there are several more, and I'll discuss them at the end of the review, um, is bound up mostly with his domestic life as a child, though there are um, later some more memorable recollections of an emerging political consciousness that I'll talk about. His father, whose name is S.A., whose name is S.A., E-S-S-A-Y, just like the short piece of um, literature, I guess, is a local schoolmaster uh, at a boys' school, and his mother's name is Wild Christian. She's the sort of very embodiment of a free spirit um, who occasionally takes in boarders into their house. Uh, because the memoir uses this limited perspective of a very young boy in a mostly domestic environment, the voice can have the naivete of a boy uh, of Ole's age. However, it never has the provincialism that you would expect to accompany that innocence. Uh, from the first episodes of the story, we're able to envision him as a vibrant, curious, enthusiastic, and very precocious little boy. Uh, though he is stuck at home, the family's recent acquisition of a new television set gives Woolley an initial way of understanding the complex political world around him. He heard of Hitler only faintly and vaguely knew of him as an important figure. Later in Ake, uh, Soyanka begins to track the actions of a group called the Egba Women's Union, which fights against excessive taxation. Wild Christian, his mother, becomes prominent in the Union and begins a series of talks with the Alakve of Egbaland, who is uh, a, a native administrator. Uh, Soyinka's recollections of his early childhood resemble the kind of person that I've seen him to be when he gives interviews. He's just this sort of joyous, thoughtful, intellectually curious, appreciative, kind person. He, does, he displays the kind of wonderment and delight that we can only hope to have in fully grown adults, let alone children. From the first chapter, which describes the beautiful geography around Ake, to the tumultuous politics of colonial Nigeria, the reader walks away from this memoir feeling that he or she has inhabited the shoes of a child who is bigger than the land that contains him, but at the same time will grow up to write its stories and tell its histories like none of his contemporaries have. Oh, and the language. The language. I won't quote anything directly, but suffice it to say that the language is simply magisterial. Uh, to complement this volume, I talked about other volumes of uh, Vole Soyenka's memoirs. Readers might also be interested in Isara, A Voyage Around Essay, which is, um, as you can probably tell about his father, was published in 1989, um, and which deals with the years directly before the ones in Ake. So that would be years before, directly before uh, Vole was born. 
Uh, there's a volume called Ibadan, the Penkelemy Sears, published in 1994, which discusses and tracks uh, Soenka's life after Ake through the time of his arrest and two-year imprisonment, which are covered in The Man Died Prison Notes, published in 1972. And he most recently came out with his latest volume called You Must Set Forth at Dawn in 2006 about his experiences from uh, young manhood until the publication of the book. Um, which would bring it up until about, what, 65 or 70 years old. It's just a beautiful book, um, something I wasn't quite expecting and was more than happy to find on the dollar shelf at Half Price Books. <laughs> okay, The Years of Childhood by Wole Soyenka. <laughs> 